in my country, I go to, to school and uh, like like there is lot of girls and women and even I can't avoid looking and also wear a cap in school, but it's uh, everywhere I can't uh, avoid. Also, um, my parents want me to continue to school and uh, I'm gonna go to high school in uh, like uh, like this school is ending and after it's high school and um, I'm sure I'm gonna miss prayers and and it's gonna be worse. Uh, also, my my question is: Should I continue? And my parents yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah. migrate. To yeah, Amir. Barakallah feek and thank you for asking the serious question. Those who live in the West were being tested with a lot of tests, beginning with the education. Obviously, I consider this, this is the greatest test. It's not only the uh, way of earning and halal and haram and halal food and haram food. These are all various tests. But education is the biggest test. So. Uh, if you don't go to school and if you don't study, you won't have a degree and you're, to you're not talking about university. We're talking about going to school to earn, you know, a high school diploma. Alhamdulillah wa shukla, I personally know of Islamic schools in France. So why don't you just go to any of these Islamic schools? I know some people who own Islamic schools in Paris. So you and your parents should actually make this choice. If you think the fitna for you is too overwhelming, then homeschooling. And this is not something unprecedented. A lot of Americans, non-Muslims, they, uh, they favor the homeschooling method for their children in order to protect them from the at the schooling, especially the public school society, which is in many cases not healthy whatsoever. So either Muslim schools or private schools, or um, if not, then go for homeschooling where you study online the same syllabus, the same curriculum, and you take the exams and everything. The only problem with the homeschooling is the less socializing with people, and that can be uh, complemented by interacting with the Muslim society, providing activities for the youth in the Islamic center, games, and so on. But if I'm raising my children there, I would definitely not put them in the public school. Definitely. I would put them either in an Islamic school or then do like the local people, homeschooling. And this is an alternative. Barakallahu feekum.